here's the uh, video that was released uh, on the arrest of Jacqueline Craig and her two daughters by uh, Officer William Martin, this racist ass police officer. And, subs and you're going to see in the uh, back portion of the video, uh, his police chief uh, back in his play. Here's the actual video uh, from the uh, dash cam of uh, Officer uh, Martin. Notice a condescending attitude uh, that the cop has uh, telling the, the uh, mother, uh, why don't you teach your son not to litter? That's not the issue that you came there for. You came there because of a complaint that uh, she was making against uh, Mr. Itamar Verde, who apparently this guy, based on the guy's name, and that's all I can go based by and what he looked like, this guy's a foreigner. But you were going to take uh, this guy's word and not even act on what he acknowledged that he did. Uh, rather, you decided that you were going to go after the black people. W and with that attitude, I would have got pissed off as well. And so would most people. Uh, I didn't, you can't prove to me that my son did it. But it doesn't matter if he did or didn't. It doesn't give him the right to put his hands on it. Well, okay, why not? <laughs> because it's called assault and you are supposed to be enforcing the laws. So when uh, she accused this guy of assault, you were supposed to act on that accusation. But instead, you decide uh, that you're gonna be further condescending toward this woman. And she obviously got further ticked off about the whole damn thing. Because he don't? He don't? What you mean? He's asking. Because he don't? Hmm? He don't? He's not his parent. He's not Okay, now you see the daughter came in there, turned her back to the officer, trying to get her mother out of there. At that point, okay, the mother hadn't done anything to be arrested for, but he decided that he was going to arrest her once the daughter got in between trying to back her mother out of there. Notice he pulled his taser, which was totally unnecessary. Okay. 
Notice he just choked the girl. He had his hand around her, th her neck from reverse, but that is also considered, considered choking. If you back up that feed, you notice he put his hands around her throat too. Okay, it was really quick, but he kicked her. If you roll back and then slow it down, you can see where he kicked her. that he just took he just used a pain tactic on her to try to force her to tell him her name he lit she was handcuffed behind her back he lifted her arms up in order to create pain in order to get her to comply and she's a minor
Mickey. Thank you, Kong Tang. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. he admitted that he kicked her okay when she said it don't matter you kick me and he said yeah he admitted he kicked her acknowledge that she, the daughter was trying to push her back and at that point she was not under arrest okay That's the end of the video, but uh, let, just let me ask you uh, what your opinion is on what this piece of shit cop uh, did to these uh, 
two women and one child. And if he, instead of trying to de-escalate the situation, he escalated the situation. Now, here's what the uh, local news is reporting on the entire incident. You just saw the officer's uh, body cam uh, video, and this is the uh, local reaction on the uh, Jacqueline Craig uh, arrest. Some big developments tonight in the case of a Fort Worth police call that ended with a viral video of a woman and her daughters arrested. Fort Worth police have dropped charges against Jacqueline Craig and her daughters, and tonight their neighbor, Itamar Vardy, has been cited for assault by contact. Plus, we have... Okay, notice, he wasn't arrested for assault, he was cited for assault. So basically, they gave this guy a ticket. New perspective of how it all went down, because we're now seeing video from the officer's body cam. Attorneys for the Craig family said this is not a day for celebration. They say their client should never have been charged, and they are still pushing for Officer Martin to be fired and charged. She, Fitzgerald also said he consulted with the district attorney before making this decision. The chief met with faith leaders and community activists this morning working to rebuild trust many of those activists and the Craig family still want more done no this is not a celebratory and you can't really blame them and this guy's meeting with them to try to rebuild trust the police chief saw the video that was shot because it went viral and he saw his own officer's dash cam and if you basically just saw that uh, video from the officer there was nothing Okay, mitigating as far as the officers was concerned. Then on top of it, the police chief lied to us. This officer has a history. He tasered a young man, a child actually, he was under uh, 18, who was running away from him, which was in direct violation of uh, Fort Worth policy and federal uh, law enforcement guidelines. So. When the chief came out and told us that uh, this guy never had any problems before, that was bullshit. Then on top of it, the officer decided to appeal his 10-day suspension, and if he hadn't appealed it, he was going to get a promotion. A promotion. So anyway, let me let the rest of this uh, continue to play out, and then see for yourself what the officer said time for us. We've made four demands from the beginning, uh, and that demand is the demand that any American would expect. Uh, when someone assaults your child, your minor child, you expect that, and, and they hurt them. That is a felony assault under the uh, Texas law. We demand equal protection under the law for ourselves and our, for our children, certainly for our women, uh, and so that should, that that individual should have been charged with a felony. Their failure to do so is a failure, not a day of celebration. All right, let me stop it right there, okay? If that had been a black guy who had uh, choked a white kid, that black guy would have been in cuffs and in the car and on his way to jail. And that is my honest opinion. Now, here's this David Clark a wannabe as far as uh, not doing jack shit when it comes to protecting his black citizens said that the arrest was legal. However, uh, in some cases, you know, we've had cases dropped in the past. This case is no different. We've looked at this, you know, through a variety of lenses, and I thought it was the right thing to do. This case was a lot different. Number one, the officer uh, reacted, uh, didn't react to the citizen who actually called him to make the complaint. Number two, uh, the person who assaulted her child admitted to the officer, okay, which uh, you should have just seen, that uh, he assaulted the child. Uh, number three, the officer basically said, uh, screw you, lady, and um, I don't like your attitude, not understanding uh, that her child was involved. So instead of de-escalating the situation, the officer escalated the situation. You saw all that on the video, yet and still, uh, until th that dash cam was leaked by a concerned uh, 
person uh, that obviously had to be involved uh, in that particular police department, you still were looking at pressing charges against the Craig family. You hadn't done anything as far as the white guy was concerned for choking her, her kid, and you still got this guy on a 10-day suspension. The only thing you've done at this point is telling the community that he's not uh, that he's going to get some quote unquote uh, counseling and that he won't be returned to this particular neighborhood. That really gives me a sense of uh, joy everlasting, knowing that you're going to turn the same police officer loose on another community, probably one of color, where he's going to have an opportunity to do the same thing. Your ass should have been fired. I stand by that decision and uh, I'm ready to move forward and help. The community here. That's why I'm here today. The chief did, did, did decide not to send the officer involved, Officer William Martin, back into that same neighborhood where this happened as he'd originally planned to. He will go through extensive training now before returning to the streets somewhere on the south side. And today we also saw Officer Martin's statement to police. Hold on a second. And and that was going to add insult to injury. He was going to send this fucking cop back to the same damn neighborhood for him to do it all over again after the incident on Rock Garden Trail in regards to his comments to Craig about why she didn't teach her son not to litter. He wrote this. I don't know why I asked this question. I guess it was because I was irritated by the tone and level of her voice and that the situation over littering had gotten so out of hand. Okay, so I don't know why I asked this question. I can tell you why, because you were gonna, you were trying to take the white guy's side on this, and you wanted to chastise the black woman, and there was no actual proof that the kid littered, but you automatically took the white guy's side in this thing, and you were irritated by the tone. Your training is supposed to allow you to ignore the tone of conversations for, of the, and the lady didn't want to say it, black female's voice. And you, uh, and you were upset because a situation over littering had gotten out of hand. It wasn't the quote unquote littering that got out of hand. It was the fact that the white guy choked that black kid and uh, you were going along with it. He went on to say, quote, it did not make sense to me that the man would randomly choke a child for no reason or that anyone would choke a child for simply littering. And the funny part about that is the guy admitted that he choked the kid. When you looked at the video, just listen to the, you know, obviously you have to listen to the very beginning of the video closely. The guy admits he choked the kid. So how does it not make sense that the white man would randomly choke a child for no reason? He told you he did it. Littering. He also said that he believed that the account of choking may have been exaggerated. If you would like to view the new... Yeah, he believes that it may have been exaggerated, but if the situation had been reversed, uh, the uh, black guy would have been in cuffs because you would have totally believed the white guy or the white mother. Video in its entirety, we posted it online. Just go to NBCDFW.com. It's right there on our front page. President George. See, and then people wonder why we don't believe that we are getting equal treatment under the law. This is a prime example, a prime example. And this is not the first time. There was another case in, also in Fort Worth, well, there are a lot of them, but one case that comes to mind in Fort Worth was uh, when the police, uh, quote unquote, had a no-knock warrant uh, because they believed that uh, drugs were being sold out of a particular house. They break into the house, coming in through the window. The black homeowner, not knowing what the hell was going on, pulled out his gun and started shooting. Do you know they tried to charge that guy with attempted murder? So anyway, uh, uh, after he re realized it was the cops, obviously he, you know, he dropped his gun and put his hands up. It was a miracle that he wasn't killed. They go searching through the house, find no drugs. Guess what? They broke into the wrong damn house. Anyway. It is what it is, is what I would normally say, but that's bullshit. This was totally wrong. This is wrong right off the top. The cops should have been fired. The cops are fucking racist, and that's all there is to it. And that coon-ass police chief is going along with the program because it's a cop. And it's just a, 
a bunch of black people that he doesn't give a shit about trying to bi uh, uh, build up uh, uh, faith and uh, just trying to uh, uh, build up faith with the community. With what he did, there, and if I was at that meeting, I would have told him to kiss my ass and there's no such thing as trying to uh, build up a relationship with the community after you saw all this shit and let it go and gave this guy a 10 days off uh, unpaid, he should have been fucking fired.